does this one? Oh, you pulled this part. <laughs> so catch it on. Can it stay like this. Aha! How did I actually start it? Oh, because the button hit. Let's see. <laughs> Get it to pin down. What? I don't think that's a thing. Wait a second. <gasps> Dude, I have an idea. Uh huh. Wait a second. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere at least. Isn't this what this does? Oh, sh shoot. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. This tripod was not designed for um, video shooting. <laughs> and it slightly, it slightly tilts to the left, which would drive me crazy. I think we're, I think we're gonna go without today. Oh, looks like we're gonna go with the second option. Folks. Thomas Jefferson said, determined never to be idle. No person will have the occasion to complain of time who never loses any. It is wonderful how much can be done if we were always doing. Today is the first day of the new step of this journey. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. And just to give context, my best friend Jake got me this mug in college. This was my, uh, my Twitch logo. Um, and I wanted to be this creator, this person who made this community of, of positive and fun people to game with. And it never came to be. Before I get into the reason I'm sitting here right now, we have a lot of preparations to make. When do you want to change your life? I feel like you have to make certain preparations. You can't go on just doing the same thing over and over and over and try to expect some different results. You've heard that before. So today, I gotta change it. I gotta change a lot. I kind of feel like in order to tell you where I'm going or where I wanna go, I need to tell you where I've been. So each one of my days would start just about the same way. And just to give you some context, this has been going on for about seven weeks or so. So way longer than I intended. I'd get up walk all the way over. Sometimes I'd take a shower first, but honestly, as the weeks got more, um, I would just walk over to the coffee maker first. After I'd have my morning coffee, I'd leisure with my cup of coffee, maybe outside to sit for about two minutes, but usually just right over to right here, my computer. My computer has done a lot of great things for me and allowed me to connect with some of my friends that don't live here anymore, that moved away, or that I used to have in college in a big way. But what I realized is that it was becoming my crutch. Eventually, these past three weeks or so, I found myself sitting there every single day, drinking more cups of coffee than I should, playing games with a friend who also was looking for a job, but he had found a job. So now I'm stuck, facing this truth of, I now have to sit here in my apartment, uh, living on unemployment, figuring out what I wanna do next. As I scroll through job options, I'm unsatisfied. I took a career test. Nothing inspired me to do something or to get up and move or to learn something new. The only thing that I could come up with is that I wanted to work for myself. I've always wanted to work for myself, to be able to create, invent, to have the autonomy, to do something more if I wanted to do something more. But I never had the discipline. So as I'm sitting here, scrolling, laying on the floor, wondering what I should do next. People are asking me, what are you gonna do next? Because people have high ambition for me for some reason. I kept thinking and I kept going back to this. I've always wanted to do something like this. There's a lot to do today, but I'm, I'm gonna limit it to three things. I need to clean my room, which includes laundry, I think. I don't think I can make laundry a separate thing. I need to, 
I guess that includes my desk. I need to come up with a new schedule or a routine, probably a routine of what I'm gonna do like each day. And third, I need to exercise because I feel like that's important. Okay, so for reference, this is my room right now. This is my bathroom right now. I feel like this isn't so bad. We haven't really got to what I'm doing exactly, but we're gonna get to that at the end, after I'm done cleaning. Before we get to the cleaning though, I'm gonna get a smoothie. We made it. Okay, I got it. Let's get started. Still feeling a little ambitious, so I'm gonna add cleaning the kitchen as the fourth thing, but I'm gonna do it second. I think this is gonna be the easy part. Number two, the routine. I only think it is, is H2O, run, plan, and go. It sounds silly, but I've had intricate routines before. I mean, can, can you see this? I think that's it. I think I just need to drink water, run, plan my day, and I just need to start. I'm not gonna pretend like exercise is something that I want to do right now. It's the last thing on the list. Everything else is done. And then I gotta tell you what we're doing. Running is no one's favorite thing. I'm not gonna pretend like it is. I used to be more of a runner and then I got injured, which we'll talk about later. And since then I've had to force myself to get back into it because I know it's important for me. There's a lot of reasons to run, but my reason why I want to start running again is because it makes me feel better. I know that because I know what I feel like whenever I don't exercise and run and what I feel like whenever I do. Nice farmland too. Really beautiful view. Houses. Houses. This is the halfway point on my road. It's really windy, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. It's only been 1.5 miles. I feel like I'm dying. I remember when running was easy. I promise I'm not dying. After I run, I always look like this. My eyes are bloodshot. My face is red. My eyes are squinty. I don't think I'm allergic to running. Okay, so why is this important to me? Because let me show you where I've been and then where we're going. So I used to do a lot of things like this. Dang, we got the hoodies. Oh, watering in, oh, watering in. This is the back, that's the front. Boy, we out here. I also used to love making short, like YouTube video content things that I thought were good at the time a couple years ago, like this. And now I want to do something different. I want to create something. I've always wanted to create something. Entrepreneurship, uh, you name it, I, I have thought about it and thought about doing it. So starting today, on October 16th, you'll see me every day if you want to, because I'm starting a daily vlog as my full time, at least for right now. I just have the strong drive to do something, to do something more, to do something different, and I've been racking my brain for weeks about it and I can't figure it out. And then I'm like, wait, what if I do the one thing I've kind of always wanted to do? 
and then in my mind I'm like, oh no, fear, and oh no, it's gonna be like a lot of work. If I do this every day, it's gonna be like a full-time job. Actually, it's gonna be more, but that's okay, because that's what I need to do.